Okay, for part one of our investigation onto factors that affect the rates of reaction, we're going to look at the difference between a whole Alka-Seltzer tablet reacting in water versus a crushed Alka-Seltzer tablet reacting in water. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the temperature of our water and it looks like our temperature is 22 degrees for the whole one and we'll check to make sure it's the same for the crushed one just to make sure that those factors are at least the same as well so that we're only changing the um, surface area of the tablet okay so that one also is 22 degrees so what we're going to do is we're going to um, put these in at the same time and try to hit the timer around the same so we will see which one of these is going to react faster. Okay, or if there's going to be a difference at all. Okay. So, here we go. Make sure all the crushed is ready to pour in so I don't miss any. Okay, so start the timers. Okay, we have to give this one a little bit of a swish just to make sure because the one on the left is completely submerged. So we need to make sure the one on the right, all the little itty bitty particles get submerged as well. So you can see the one that was crushed has already disappeared. So we'll watch and see how long it takes for the whole one to finish up. It's actually going pretty quickly. Still a little tiny bit on the top bubbling. And now it's just residual bubbles. So we can hit stop. Okay. So our whole tablet took about 45 seconds, 45.6 seconds. And our crushed tablet took about 22.4 seconds. Okay. So quite a bit of a difference um, by changing the surface area of the tablet. 